The Zod 500 presents Canadian Elections of History! The fourth election in Canadian history happened between September 17, 1878 and September 18, 1878, where there were two major party candidates. There was the leader of the Conservative Party, John A. Macdonald, yes, he's back, and Alexander Mackenzie, the leader of the Liberal Party. John A. Macdonald, of course, was the leader since 1867 of the Conservative Party, while Mackenzie was the leader of the Liberal Party since 1873. This time, though, John A. Macdonald got the leader seat from Victoria, and Alexander Mackenzie still got his leader seat from Lambton. By now, Canada has expanded a little bit. A little bit more territory in Quebec, and a little bit more territory in Ontario. In the little square thing in Manitoba, well, it grew just a bit. Let's get into the interesting stuff, though. There were 206 seats in the House of Commons, and 104 seats were needed for a majority to win the 1878 Canadian election. Of course, the members of each party, John A. Macdonald and Alexander Mackenzie, if you didn't watch last episode, uh, John A. Macdonald got 65 seats, and Alexander Mackenzie got 129. But this time, there was a change. With 229,191 votes in the popular vote, and 42.06% of it, and 134 seats won, the next pr Prime Minister of Canada would be John A. Macdonald, as he got re-elected and Alexander Mackenzie would be leaving office. And I'll see you for the election of 1882.